All right, good morning. Good morning, prayer warriors. Rise up. It is time to pray this morning. It is time to get into God's Word. It is time to start the day. It is time to win the day. Uh, for the next 16 hours, that's all you have to worry about. The next 16 hours, you're going to walk in the victory of the Lord. Good morning, everyone that's logging in this morning. It is so great to see you today. If you are in Sioux Falls, it is a winter wonderland today. It is fantastic. I just preached a message on Sunday called Don't Complain, Offer Hope. And the Lord's testing me in this. I'm not complaining today. I'm looking out and uh, we're supposed to get about 10 more inches of snow. Um, so let's just be positive today. Um, people that love snow, this is your day. This is your day to live. This is your day to rejoice. This is your day to celebrate. If you love snow, you are loving it today. If you hate the cold, if you hate snow, well, don't complain. Offer hope. Offer somebody hope. Great day to do to, to put on your snowshoes and go walking. Great day to snowmobile. Great day to build a, a snowman. It's a great day to... That's about it. Stay inside. Stay warm if you're in Sioux Falls. Good morning, Phil. Great to see you this morning. And everyone that's joining us on this uh, wintry uh, January day here in Sioux Falls. Good morning, Rick. It's, a, it's an example of God's power. The storm is an example of God's power. Rick, that is the way to flip that thing. That is the way to be positive. That is the way to offer hope. Good job, Rick. God bless you this morning. All right. Last Monday, before um, I, I went on vacation, I, I, I began a, a teaching from Psalm 147. And, and Psalm 147 gives us all kinds of reasons to praise God. In fact, I said, beginning with Psalm 145, uh, the last six psalms in the, in the book of Psalms is this crescendo of praise. It's this marvelous, I mean, every, every psalm begins with, you know, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Um, and, and, all these, and then Psalm 147 gives us reasons, all kinds of reasons to praise Him. Friends, let me say to you this morning, despite your challenges, there's reason to, pr reason to praise the Lord this morning. Despite your difficulties... Despite your trials, despite your pain, there's reason to praise Him this morning. And we're going to go through Psalm 147, and we're going to look at all of the reasons that we have to give our God praise today. And today we're going to look at this, the fact that uh, God rebuilds broken walls. God rebuilds broken walls. Let's look in Psalm 147 this morning, verses 1 and 2. Psalm 147, verses 1 and 2 says this, Praise the Lord. Let's just stop there. Praise the Lord. Just say that with me. Praise the Lord. It's the, the Hebrew, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallel. Let there be praise to Yah, Yahweh. Praise the Lord. For it is good to sing praises to our God. It is pleasant, and praise is fitting, becoming. Praise is what we're supposed to do. Then verse 2 says this, The Lord builds up, Jerusalem. He gathers the outcasts of Israel. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. That's a reference to when the, the people of Israel had gone into captivity in Babylon because of their disobedience for 70 years. And then God brought them back. God released them from Babylonian captivity and he released them to go back to Jerusalem to, to rebuild the city, to rebuild the temple, to rebuild the walls surrounding the walls and the gates that had been torn down and destroyed by the Babylonians. So God sends them back to, to Jerusalem to do the work of rebuilding. And it says in, in verse 2, God builds up Jerusalem. He rebuilds the broken down city. Now if we go back to Psalm 102, there's another reference to this in verse 16. For the Lord has built up Zion. He has appeared in His glory he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and has not despised their prayer. So God, while the people were in captivity, heard their prayers. And after 70 years, restored them to their, to their native land and they began to rebuild the city. He, he uh, has built up Zion. And then there's another reference. There's three references in Psalms to the rebuilding of the walls of Jerusalem. Psalm 51, verse 18. By your favor, do good to Zion. Build the walls of Jerusalem. Build the walls. May you build up the walls of Jerusalem. So, so God 
began the process of rebuilding what had been broken down among his people. When God restored the walls, when God rebuilt the city, it was a sign of his forgiveness. It was a sign of God's favor and blessing upon his people again. It, it showed them that God was with them. It showed their enemies that God was working. God had restored his favor and was now with his people working again to rebuild their lives. And it restored dignity to the Jews. So when we read that phrase, God rebuilds Jerusalem, he builds up Jerusalem, he rebuilds the walls, it means that, that God forgave that God restored favor, that God put his blessing back on his people, that, that he restored dignity to the people. And, and the walls of our lives, this is, a, this is figurative of the walls in our lives, they often get broken down through poor decisions, sin, carelessness, and our spiritual enemy who attacks us and tries to break us down. But Psalm 147 says God rebuilds what's been broken down. That's the promise. That's the reason to praise him today is because God restores what's been broken. As, as we begin a new year, let me ask you this question. As we, as we launch into 2023, what walls have been broken, da broken down in your life that need to be rebuilt? Can you identify an area in your life that's been damaged, an area in your life that's been broken down, an area in your life that needs to be restored, an area of your life that needs to be strengthened. Today is officially Rebuilding the Walls Tuesday. This is officially Rebuilding the Walls Tuesday. What was strong in your life that's now weak? What was strong in your life that's been broken down and it's now weak? What, what area of your life today is not in a good place? It, it, it's just not in a good place. The, the, the walls have been broken down. The gates have been burned with fire. And as you look at your life, the landscape of your life, there, there's areas of weakness. There's areas that have been broken down. Maybe your, your marriage is not in a good place. Maybe your children are not in a good place. Maybe your health, your mental health, your emotional health, your physical health, or your spiritual health has been broken down. Maybe your character is, is br like broken walls today. It's been, it's been damaged because you've given into sin in your life. Maybe, maybe there are relationships in your life that, that are like walls that have been broken down that need to be restored and rebuilt. Maybe your family this morning. Maybe your financial situation. Maybe your faith in God has been broken down. What, what is it today that as you look at the walls of your life that were once strong, that were once sturdy, have now been broken down? and now need to be restored and rebuilt. See, Psalm 147.2 says God rebuilds Jerusalem. God builds back up Jerusalem. God is in, in, in the business of restoring walls that have been broken down. Psalm 147.2, the Lord builds up Jerusalem. He rebuilds what's been damaged and broken. Psalm 147 is a psalm of praise for what God does. What does God do? One of the things that God does is he rebuilds broken walls. He, he sees what's been damaged. He inspects your life and he says, oh, that gate, that wall needs to be rebuilt. And, and he promises that he will begin to rebuild that area in your life. So, Psalm 102, that scripture I read says this, for the Lord has built up Zion. He has appeared in his glory. He has regarded the prayer of the destitute and has not despised their prayer. What does that mean? that God answers prayer. God responds to prayer that says, Lord, our life has been damaged. The walls of our life have been broken down, just like the Jews in Babylon. Lord, you need to restore what the enemy has injured. You need to restore what our poor decisions have led to in our lives. 2023, friends, is a year of rebuilding. It's a year of building back up what's been broken down. And so we're going to pray this morning. We're going to come to the Lord this morning and say, God, we praise you because you are a God that rebuilds broken down walls, broken down relationships, broken down marriages, broken down families, broken down health, broken down financial situations, all of those areas of our life, broken faith, Maybe your faith is broken today. God has disappointed you. God has let you down. The Lord wants to build that back up. He wants to show his forgiveness. He wants to show his favor. He wants to put his blessing back on your life. He wants your life to be rebuilt stronger than it was 
before. And so as we head into 2023, we're going to look through Psalm 147 and see all of the reasons to praise God. And today, this morning, on Rebuilding the Walls Tuesday, we're going to give God praise because he wants to rebuild what's been broken down. Let's pray this morning, friends. Lord, we announced this morning that there are areas of our life, walls in our life that have been broken down. Lord, we, we announced that what was once strong has now become weak. Maybe it's our character, Lord. Maybe it's an area of our life that, that the enemy has assaulted us. The enemy has attacked us and, and he's, he's uh, broken down a wall. He's, he's made inroads into our life. And Lord, that needs to be rebuilt today. So we announce this morning, as we begin this new year, Lord, that the Lord builds up Jerusalem. The Lord restores the walls that have been broken down. Now, Lord, we're inviting you today. Just take a minute, friends. Invite the Lord. Say, Lord, I invite you to rebuild this wall in my life. I trust you. You said you will not despise the prayer of the destitute. You will hear the prayer of those that cry out for the rebuilding of a wall, the rebuilding of a city, the restoration of a life. God, we thank you this morning that you are in the business of rebuilding broken down walls. We give you praise this morning, Lord. We invite you to, to minister to, to give strength to that wall in our life that's tottering, that wall in our life that's been injured and damaged and broken, Father. We, we praise you, Lord, today, like the people of Israel in Psalm 147. We praise you because you rebuild broken walls. We thank you this morning, Lord. You regard our prayer. You hear our prayer. And so, Lord, we ask you in this area of our life that you would begin to restore, you would begin to rebuild, you would begin to add strength to that area in our lives today in the powerful name of Jesus. And everybody said, come on, everybody said, Amen, amen. Hey, friends, you have much to look forward to today. Not just the snow outside, but the rebuilding work of God in your life, the restoration of God in your life. Friends, what the enemy has meant for destruction, God has meant for good, and he's in the, in the process of working to rebuild that wall in your life, that it's stronger than ever, that as you, as you end 2023, you're going to see the hand of God working in a powerful way. It's going to be a great Tuesday today. God bless you. Endure the cold. Find a reason to give somebody hope today. Tell them Jesus loves them. We'll see you tomorrow morning. God bless.